Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. To know about this video average function in Excel, watch the video till the end. And also, if you're new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe this channel by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Welcome everyone. Today we have a today we have a topic with us is called the average function in Excel. Now this is again a statistical function. Uh, before we start doing this exercise i want you to understand a couple of basics about this topic so that you have a fair idea exactly what we are talking about see the average function in excel it gives in uh, what we call as arithmetic uh, mean of the supplied uh, set of numeric uh, values so it is categorized as what we call as statistical function now let me make you learn about the average formula we'll say average when you just start with is equal to average you have two things number one and number two now before we start a number of range for which the average is to be calculated this is number one and the optional that is additional number of the range of the number for which the average is to be calculated so these numbers can be given as input as like you know you can see as uh, numbers uh, named ranges or uh, cell references that contains numerical values so the input can also be a result of uh, any other uh, Excel operations outputting a number in the end. So the average in the Excel formula can handle a maximum of 255 individual arguments. Now, let's talk about returns. See, it returns the average of the sub range of the numbers. The cell references containing the logical values, texts, or basically you can say empty or empty cells have been ignored by the average in excel formula however you know the logical values or the text representation of the numbers they are entered directly and they are counted so if any supplied argument entered directly cannot be interpreted as let's say numerical value then it gives a value error so if all the supplied set of arguments let's say are non numeric in nature it gives us div zero error that is division error so the argument with the error value also gives an error as an answer okay let's begin uh, today to understand how this excel average function exactly works uh, let me write a couple of numbers here for you let's say two okay i just have two three four five six okay these are the numbers now uh, you know i want to take out the average of all of these numbers how am i going to do so i'll just simply write average i'll select the whole thing and press enter so the average of two three five four and six is going to be four so you may also enter directly you know if you don't want to write that you can simply start with two comma three comma four comma six five and comma six it's fine you know if you just interchange some of the numbers at the end of the day you are just calculating the average the answer will remain the same so again it will return to the answer same as four now uh, let's say so we did how many four types this was the first one is equal to average is equal to average you write 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 4 comma 6 close and over here also we will again try and uh, put down things in a different way something like this you'll say is equal to sum and uh, we will start with 5 it's 5 4 and 6 so we will say is equal to average we'll write 2 
then you know write three four and five just like this you know you can just copy this here just put then is equal to sign here it will show us what a value error it will give us a value error the input arguments are the cell references none of them is the numerical value now let's put down this one it's division zero you cannot again uh, do an average of this kind of numbers and let's try this one so there it goes so if you write numbers in in the apostrophes you surely get an answer it will return back to four now how to use the average function in excel see the average function in excel is basically a statistical uh, function and in it is one of the most used function uh, in excel in the financial sector it is mostly used to calculate the average sales and the average revenue for a specific period of time so let us look at some of the examples of the average function in excel we'll start with the first one you can see suppose that you have a subject wise marks of each student in the batch that is shown below here now you have the details of names subject one two three four and five right so we will write all the details down here let's figure out whether this goes with our answer we'll simply do average here we'll do the average of ashwin's marks in all the five subjects what is the average he is getting let's say uh, instead of let's say over here marks i'll just say runs in different innings okay inning one two three and four okay this is two this is inning three this is something inning four and five is Ashwin, Ayush, Prajesh, Drew, Manish, Ruchi, and then so on and so forth. So they all playing cricket, women's and men's cricket. So this is how they score in the last five matches. So the coach decided, I want to see what is the average run they are making. So I'll press Control D and I'll see the answer for all. And I want to now check who has scored the highest run average run that is 84 over here right so if you so this is how the first example works now we will try and shift to the second example to learn more about this uh, topic now uh, again uh, we have suppose let's say you have a monthly sales uh, data of your company and the data is divided into four different let's say zones east west central and north south zone you have a data from jan to december and so on and so forth uh let's say now you want to calculate the average sales for each month or to calculate the average sales for each zones or and you want to also understand in which zone the average sales is highest okay so to calculate the average sales for each month you could use the following average formula for your excel that's given below you can start with the first and the foremost thing you can take the average of jan feb march till december this is how you'll take down all the numbers perfect now for the month of uh, jan you will do what is equal to average from c4 to f4 it will be the same thing which will give you the average sales for jan okay and same for rest of the months now let's take division wise average similarly you know uh, we can also calculate the average sales for each zone so you can use the average formula for excel 
and uh, that will be something like this is equal to average for the east zone for all the months for the west zone for central and for the north zone for all the months so that's how you're going to calculate the numbers now you can also find uh, the zone with the highest average to do so you can simply you know do a lookup function over here so what you will do is that you will simply say is equal to look up and i'll say look up what i'm asking excel that you know please look up a maximum so excel is asking maximum of what so we will say maximum of this average numbers in every single zone comma okay now the from this you show me maximum the lookup vector this is the lookup value from g18 to g21 the lookup vector vector will also be g18 to g21 comma the result vector has to be the zone close the formula you will say that you know you will see the central zone is having the maximum so now you will feel like why should i actually go on to you know i have to write the full formula to just find which one is highest no when you have millions or probably thousands of numbers you really don't have time to see which one is highest so you use the formula you will get it right so this is how you summarize your data in the much more uh, easier format now example number three over here suppose you have the marks of for the five subjects and you want to calculate the average mark scored by a student in a in the top four so how will you do that so it'll say is equal to average for all of this do control d so you will have the answer for all of them i hope you have got a real idea regarding what uh things you should know about uh average average function see first the average function gives the arithmetic mean of the given range of numbers second the input can be a numbers input can be numbers that are entered directly as well as cell references or the named ranges the numbers are added together and its sum is then divided by the total number of input a maximum of 255 numbers can be supplied the cell references containing the logical values texts or any empty cells are ignored in the average function the cell references containing the zero are counted in the formula and if any supplied argument entered directly it cannot be interpreted as the numeric values because it gives you a value error and the arguments with the error value will give you an error so that's it for this particular topic i hope you have got a good idea and insightful information about the average function if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates cheers everyone